Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some like force proximity, specifically snowstorm recommendations for you today. Baby, baby. I love a good stuck somewhere because of a snowstorm romance, okay? It's great for tension and angst and forced proximity. These are very much winter reads obviously because they are in a snowstorm and a lot of these are Christmas or holiday related. I'm not going to be making like a holiday or Christmas rec video this year. I just, I don't feel like I need to. Uh, I don't have enough recommendations for you for that. So um, a few of these books in here will also be Christmas related, but not all of them are. I feel like the majority of them are not Christmas related. I think only four or three, three of them are four of them. I'm so sorry. There's four in here out of the 10. So take with that what you will. So um, let's get into these recommendations. First We Have Frigid by Jennifer L. Armitra. Yes, JLA writes contemporary romances. Who knew? This is more new adult, I want to say though. Um, These two are in college together. Both Sydney and Kyther are 21 in this book and they are best friends. They've been best friends for years since they were little kids Um, and they have both been pining for each other for years, but they've never revealed their feelings. And both of them have their reasons for not revealing their feelings for each other. Um, Kyler thinks that Sid is too good for him, keeps her on a pedestal and think that he does not deserve her. Um, and then Sid sees Kyler getting with all these other girls. He's getting with them to distract himself from being with Sid and thinks that, oh, he wants all these other girls except for me. However, they go to this ski resort and they are renting out this cabin with some of their friends. But they're the only two people, like they're the first two people who get there and all their friends can't make it because of the snow, you know? And so the two of them are stuck in the cabin together during a snowstorm and they finally reveal their feelings. And it is hot, it is fun. I really enjoyed this one. It is a great snowstorm romance. Speaking of snowstorms, this is Snowstorm by Cassie Min. <laughs> um, this is a novella, a part of her Winter Warmer series. All of her books can be read as standalones. They're only considered to be in series because there's a common theme. So every book in the Winter Warmer series just take place in winter time. They don't correlate in any other way. So this is a complete standalone novella. This is the romance between, um, Quinn and Theo. So Quinn is visiting England. Um, she's from America. She's visiting England. And while she's there, uh, she is very jet lagged. Okay. She is trying so hard not to fall asleep on the tour that she's on. Um, and they go to this Duke's estate on the tour. And she is sitting in this room full of beautiful paintings on this bench. And as such, just put her head down for a second. And the next thing she knows, there's this gorgeous man standing over her, shaking her and wake, trying to wake her up. And the Duke is like, you're in my house. You're asleep in my house. What are you doing here? She's like, oh my gosh, I was on a tour. They must have forgotten about me. I am so sorry. I will leave immediately. He's like, sorry, you can't. You gotta spend the night because there is a giant snowstorm outside. There is no way you can walk anywhere or get a ride from anyone. And so she spends the night at his estate and he is so interested in her. And they might have some fun in the estate library together. <laughs> These two are totally into each other right from the get-go and it sparks an explosion between the two and the forced proximity with the snowstorm just makes it so much better. For Christmas related romance, I have Wrapped Up in You by Talia Hibbert. This is a childhood friends to lovers romance. So William and Abby, I believe it's Abby, right? Yes, William and Abby, they are childhood best friends and William always um, went to Abby's house for Christmas to her grandmother's house because he didn't have the best home life and so this year he's still going to her grandmother's house for Christmas and he's determined to reveal his feelings to Abby this year. Uh, she is finally single. He is single. He's gonna tell her how he feels. He's been pining for Abby for so long. Abby's been pining for him as well but she doesn't think that he'd ever want her. He has been in America for many years, um, being an actor, he is gorgeous. She says that he is like Chris Hemsworth looks, you can see from the cover, like he is gorgeous. The two of them are stuck in her grandmother's house during this snowstorm. William reveals his feelings to Abby and she doesn't really believe him. She's like, are you playing a joke? Like what's going on? He's like, no, I'm in love with you. I've been in love with you for years. And he's trying to kind of like convince her and show her how much he loves her during the snowstorm. The snowstorm is hilarious too, what happens during it. Her grandma is so freaking funny and she has so many cats. And one of the cats like gets out during the snowstorm who's pregnant and William and Abby have to go find this cat that may or may not be giving birth in the snow. <laughs> So this is a great holiday romance. I love it. I then have Misadventures of a City Girl 
by Meredith Wilde. You probably couldn't tell by the cover, but this one is a snowstorm romance um, where it starts out as such. So our heroine in here, um, she decides to go up to these mountains to have a little bit of a vacation after I believe she just got divorced from her cheating ex. She decides to go into the mountains and take a little vacation. She's staying at this resort or cabin place, um, but she decides to go on like a hike and there she finds a natural spring and decides to go swimming in it. And she didn't bring a bathing suit, so you know what she's swimming in, right? <laughs> Little does she know that that spring is on someone's property and he is the like wild man who's a recluse who lives in these mountains in a cabin close by and he walks up on her and um, she's in a very much compromising position. And he's like, oh gosh. <laughs> and he lets her stay in his cabin for the next couple of days during this snowstorm and they have a wild good old time together. But then things kind of blow up when they are met with reality which is uh, her going back to the city. This one is a fun one too. It's fairly short, a great romance that you can just escape into. A Christmassy related one is Gifting Me to His Best Friend by Katie Robert. This one is a little bit taboo. It's part of her Touch of Taboo series, so that's like saying something. <laughs> um, but this is the romance between three individuals. It's an MMF romance. I can't remember their names off of the top of my head, but our heroine is married to this guy. Okay, and they're very much in love, okay? But the two of them are also in love with the hero, one of the heroes, best friend. And so the three of them honestly go on like vacation every year together. And uh, during their vacation for Christmas time, the husband in the situation decides to gift his wife to his best friend for Christmas. And they're all snuck in this cabin together during a snowstorm. Oh, this one is hot. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's a grand old time take my word for it. <laughs> a very short novella, it's literally like 20 pages, is A Midnight Clear by Casey Bateman or Kate Bateman. This one takes place on Christmas Eve in 1816. Our heroine in here is Tatiana. She's a Russian princess and she has been pining for her brother's best friend for years. Both her brother and his best friend have been at war for a very long time, for years, and she is um, on the road to go meet up with them after the war has ended to um, reunite. But on the way there, there is this giant snowstorm. She can't make it past a certain point. So her and her, I believe, ladies maid go and stay in this cabin. She has decided when she meets up with Alex, like when she's finally going to see him, she's going to reveal her feelings. But then when she's stuck in this cabin, she gets like confronted by this man. And it's Alex. He, th he trekked through the snow to come and find her to reveal his feelings for her. And so they've both been secretly in love with each other. And yeah, they're both stuck in this cabin during a snowstorm. And he literally treks through a snowstorm to tell this woman how he feels, like goals. Another short one is Icebound by Tiffany Roberts. This romance has like a magical aspect in here. It's only like 50 pages long. So this is the romance between Anna and Neladrim. Neladrim sorry i'm really bad at pronunciations so anna has lived in this uh, cabin all by herself for years she's a widow she's lived here since her husband has passed and she also lost her baby in the same accident that she lost her husband in and she doesn't do well with snowstorms because i believe both of them passed away during a snowstorm and at the beginning of this novella a man appears on her doorstep during a snowstorm and she rescues him narcissus and bath back back <laughs> back to health and they end up spending a few days in her home together while she is helping him and so this book is about her coming to terms with her grief and also like moving on in a sense it's been five years since this tragedy and Nellodrim kind of helping her with that I honestly wish this was a full-length book because I feel like it could have been amazing as a full-length book this was it was great but like it could have been even better if it was a full-length book that's just my opinion <laughs> um but I think this is such a whimsical like magical snowstorm romance. Another contemporary one that I have is Stocking Stuffers by Erin McClellan. This is definitely a holiday romance. Sasha is our heroine and she's very much grumpy. She is bah humbug about Christmas. She doesn't really like Christmas uh, but she is selling some of her products. She sells something. Okay I can't say what. <laughs> she sells something and she's meeting up with this girl group, this club, during Christmas season at this B&B. One of the club owners owns also this B&B. So she goes to this B&B to promote her product and some of the girls 
by said product. But while she's there, she ends up meeting Perry, who is the brother to the woman who owns the BMP. And he is totally taken with her from the get-go. He's like, I am so interested in you. Can I have your number? She's like, sorry, no. But then they all get stuck in this cabin during a snowstorm, during the in the BMP, sorry, during a snowstorm. And it's dangerous for her to go out. And so She's gonna stay at the b, b and she confronts Perry. She's like, okay, if we're gonna be here for a couple of days, why not have some fun? So they decide to do just that and it turns into something more. This is probably my favorite uh, Christmas romance. It is so good and hot, okay? I'll leave it at that. And then the last two I wanna mention are alien romances. Um, and this whole series has like snowstorm elements to it. It's all the same snowstorm, just in different perspectives and different timelines. And so the two that I'd love to mention is where are the two books where the snowstorm aspect is most prevalent. So these are two books a part of Honey Phillips's Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series. So each book in a series is about these seven um, alien brother in arms and they go and either save or kidnap human women in this neighboring village. So in this one, we have Pearl who is trying to find her sister who got kidnapped in book two. She's trying to find her sister and Callum comes across her one day during the snowstorm that's happening during this book. And she is like covered in snow, her hands like sticking out of the snow and he rescues her, takes her to a barn and they wait out the snowstorm in said barn and they reveal their feelings because they've been looking at each other from afar. So Callum does not kidnap Pearl. This is one of the few books where there is no kidnapping. <laughs> and then the other one in that series that has like a very prevalent snowstorm is Drakkar. Um, and this is a situation where the hero literally kidnaps the heroine in here. She's in a, an abusive relationship with her baby daddy and he ends up rescuing her and her baby um, and takes her back to his cave. And they're stuck in this cave for a while because of the snowstorm and they fall for each other. It is so sweet. I really love these romances. If you want quick, fun, sweet, hot alien romances, be sure to check out the series by Honey Phillips. But anyways, there you have it. Those are 10 romances you can pick up if you're wanting to read about a couple stuck in a snowstorm together. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, and if you have any recommendations for me, I'd love to know. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the snowflake emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all! Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.